Thanks for joining halftime coverage here on the PAC Sports Network. I'm Donnie Chedrick, and today I'm joined by Geneva women's basketball head coach Lori Wynn. Coach, thanks for your time. In your eighth season now at Geneva with plenty of ups and downs both on and off the court. So in just sort of a short summary, how would you encapsulate your career at Geneva so far? Yeah, it's, it's definitely been a journey. You know, when I got here, um, we had a lot of it had a lot of transition with head coaches. And so, um, you know, I think we've done some really nice things building, um, kind of building a, a culture and, and uh, um, building the program a little bit better. We haven't always seen that translate into wins and losses, but um, it's been it's been a good it's been a good eight years. Now, in terms of the off the field uh, issues, you have had some health problems, a battle with ovarian cancer. So, talk a little bit about that whole roller coaster and what, what kind of journey that is. <laughs> it's it's definitely a roller coaster. Um, you know, I, I think any time that you're away from your team, that's always a, a really hard thing. You know, I, I had to I had another round um, last March, and so I missed the entire spring. Um, which is kind of a fun time just to be around your players and stuff. But it's, it's good to be back with them. You know, I feel pretty good. Um, you know, I'm pretty tired, but my doctors, my doctors are happy with where I'm at. Um, and so it's just good to be around, around the team. How did the sport of basketball help you deal with that and cope with your, your health? Yeah. Well, I think any time that you have, uh, that you're involved in something that teaches you how to fight through adversity and um, kind of some mental toughness, I mean, that's athletics right there. So I think... I think just having that background allowed me to to kind of be a little bit more mentally focused, um, you know. And then and then just come, the ability to come back and be with your team, you know. I think I think when you have a purpose and an, and uh, kind of you know something at the end of the tunnel to look forward to, it's it's super helpful. You also teach in the phys ed department here at Geneva. Besides being the women's basketball coach, what's the whole teaching experience like? Well, it's honestly a lot like coaching. You know, I always say that, that the gymnasium is just a large classroom. And so it's it's really the same. I, I, lo I love the classroom. You know, I like getting to know other students besides just basketball players. It kind of gives me some, uh, some, some interaction with other students. It, it allows me to kind of, you know, be another voice in, in their life. So there's a lot of correlation. Now, are there any major differences? And I know obviously in basketball you're dealing with solely athletes mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to just normal everyday students at, as, as a teacher, but any real major differences that you point out between coaching and uh, teaching? I can get on my athletes a little bit more. Um, you know, I always have a, a little bit more of um, uh, I, more of an influence, I guess, over them. You know, sometimes you can't, you know, if one of my kids doesn't go to class, there's a, there's a consequence. And for a normal student, there's not always a consequence for them. So little things like that. Now, in terms of this season so far, a little bit of a rocky start at end of the PAC season. But whenever you look at the record, that's not a good representation mm -hmm. of how your team has been because your team is in a lot of games until it gets maybe down the stretch. So yeah. whenever you look at those coaching moments and teaching mm -hmm. moments, what are some positives that you're sharing with your squad uh, after yeah. some of these tough losses? Well, we talk a lot about you know just, just getting better each, each time that, that we get on the court, just, just from the standpoint of, you know, we're in games. We just have to fix a few little things. Um, and I think the thing that most people don't realize is we're really a super young team. Um, you know, Kelly Ford obviously is our, is our senior. She's, she's played for four years. But, you know, some of those other kids, you know, our sophomores and juniors don't have a ton of experience. And so we're trying to get them to learn and grow um, as the season goes on. And so that now, you know, we're almost second. We're almost at the halfway point of the conference. Well, now hopefully those games will be different this time around. You mentioned Callie Ford, the, the senior mm -hmm. on your roster, and she has been one of the best players in the PAC, yeah. let alone just Geneva in her four years uh, here. So what, what has it been like to coach her and her talent and also mold her into the player that she's become? She's, uh, she, you know, she's really, really matured and grown up since her freshman year. Um, she's one of the most competitive players I've ever coached. Um, she hates, she hates to lose and wants to do every single thing she can to win. She's probably one of the hardest workers I've also had since I've been here. And so um, it's, it's been fun to really be a part of her growth and maturation process. Um, and, uh, you know, she's a great kid. She works hard. She's smart. She's, um, you know, she puts the time and she does film. She gets in the gym and works hard. So she does, she does it all. With Thomas Moore now out of the President's Athletic Conference, they are still on the 
Geneva women's basketball schedule. So what went into the decision-making process on that move? Yeah, yeah. everybody asks me that question, actually. Um, uh, they, they were struggling to get games, being an independent, and, and I feel like I've always had a really good relationship with Jeff. And, uh, you know, they're, they're really good, and so they've really handed us some big losses, but I've never felt like he's tried to embarrass us or humiliate us. And so for me, you know, playing them isn't my favorite thing, but it also helps him out because he, he was really struggling to find some games. So, so we'll do it. They had to come here, which is way better than having to go down <laughs> there. Um, so this will be the final year that we have them. And do you feel like that really helps out your team, even though Thomas Moore, year after year, has been a powerhouse, especially in their time in the yeah. conference? Do you feel like that really helps out your team, even though it might not look like it? Yeah, come I, end of I the think game? there's pros and cons to it. I think I think anytime that you can play really great teams and see how how really good teams do things, that's helpful. Um, you know, sometimes the score can be a little bit demoralizing, but um, I think I think the way you approach it as a teaching as teaching moments really helps. And then finally, Coach, what is a goal or a message that you have for your team the rest of the way out? Uh, we talk a lot about it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And so we're talking about really finishing well down the stretch. Lori Wynn, head women's basketball coach at Geneva College. Coach, thanks for your time thanks. again. We'll be back with the second half next on the PAC Sports Network.